stupendous stuff. It's going from one end of the pitch to the other. This is McManaman. He's got two up with him. McManaman on his own. It's there. Liverpool have equalised in the nick of time. Good evening from Anfield. That, of course, was the brilliant McManaman goal that made it Celtic 2, Liverpool 2 in that thriller in Glasgow two weeks ago. Well, it would definitely seem to have given the Liverpool the edge for this uh, UEFA Cup tie, but nothing certain in life or in football. And uh, Alan Hansen, particularly tonight, perhaps, because conditions are going to be difficult out there. It's been pouring with rain. It's going to be a really slippery surface. I think that's good for a team that passes and moves. Basically, what Liverpool do in the big European nights are two things, patience and control. Patience isn't a problem. I think the control is a problem simply because to get good control, you need width. And I can't see in the Liverpool middle of the park anybody that's going to get wide and stay wide. They've got McManaman and Berger in there. They'll get, they'll start wide, but they'll drift in. I think from Liverpool's point of view, it's a very, very attacking lineup. You've got two players in the middle of the park that will run with the ball, a good run with the ball. And you've got Owen and Fowler up front. Owen, fantastic pace. And Robbie Fowler, one of the best strikers about, that will get space in the box. And, they just got to remember they don't need to win the game. So patience at all times. Suck look at Celtic into the game and then hit them in the break. And 0 0 or 1 1 would, of course, uh, do Liverpool tonight. They've left Riedler out of the team. Is that a surprise to you? Well, it just shows you the competition for places up front. I mean, Riedler is a top class player, but you've got the combination of Powell or Nolan, as I said, and they are formidable. Yeah. Just a word from Trevor Brooking, who, of course, is also with us. Trev. Um, how do you feel Celtic will get on here tonight? Because they played very well in the second half in the first leg, didn't they? After being under the cosh early on. Well, they did brilliantly. I mean, the crowd was fantastic that night, 48,000. And I think that lifted them. A lot depends on, uh, you know, I think Henrik Lance and Simon Donnelly up front. And, of course, in midfield, I uh, thought uh, Vighorst and Burley both did very well. Uh, and that gave them the control in that second half. I'm not sure they'll get that tonight. They've got no Boyd, have they, this time? No, a bit of inexperience at the back. Un untried. Okay, thank you very much indeed. Well, our commentary team for tonight is the Sheffield Wednesday manager, David Pleat, and John Martin. Well, that roar that you're hearing now is symptomatic of the way the teams were welcomed. There was a quite fantastic reception as they came out, as indeed there was at Celtic Park. And the rain that Desmond referred to has not dampened the enthusiasm of the 3,000 lucky Celtic supporters who've got tickets. They're at the Anfield Road End, which is in the process of being rebuilt, and it's housing visiting fans for the first time tonight. The capacity for this match, 38,000. Uh, eventually it will be 45,000 here at Anfield, but lots of Celtic fans travel down without tickets. The city centre was packed with them today, disappointed because the demand is so great. But let's have a look at tonight's lineups. Liverpool have Rob Jones returning after injury at right back. Jamie Carragher switches to midfield at the expense of Michael Thomas. They're still without Wright, Matteo, Ruddock, Redknapp and Leonardson, although those last three play in a private match tomorrow. As for tonight, David Pleat, it looks as though Liverpool are sticking to their 4-4-2 system. Well, Liverpool show the depth of quality in their win against Villa reverting to a back four without the injured Mark Wright. And to accommodate Rob Jones and Stig Bjorn of his forward movement, they play this way again. Watch for Paul Ince, off colour at Celtic, but tonight having to marshal the side from a deeper midfield position. But it's an attacking lineup with all eyes on the Fowler-Owen partnership. Well, Celtic lost Phil O'Donnell and Andres Tom to injuries on Saturday. Reggie Blinker hasn't recovered from his shoulder damage in the first leg. Boyd, as you've said, is suspended, with Burley taking over as captain. Mark Reaper ineligible. So the Italian number 19, Anoni, starts for the first time this season. Tosh McKinley, number 18, comes in as well. And this looks to me like a three centre-back and wing-back system, David. Uh, Vim Janssen showed his alertness in adjusting to Liverpool's first-half supremacy at uh, Celtic. But tonight, he's opted for David Hanna to begin the game in front of his three centre-backs, Anoni, Stubbs and Mahé. Simon Donnelly and Henrik Larsson up front showed great tenacity and clever movement in tandem, uh, but they will need to repeat that performance tonight. Well, the Celtic injuries have struck so hard that in fact they're down to only five of the permitted seven substitutes. And the man that they'll be having to keep an eye on, obviously, is the man whose goal set up this match, really, Steve McManaman, who made it 2-2 in the dying seconds at Celtic Park. The referee tonight is from Germany, he's Edgar Steinborn, and Liverpool will kick off defending the cop end. Just to reinforce what Desmond Lynham said, 
Celtic really have to go for a win here. If it's 0-0 or 1-1 in 90 minutes, Liverpool would go through on the away goals rule. And if it is 2-2, then of course we'd have extra time. Either way, it's going to be some night. Straight away, Patrick Berger, number 15 for Liverpool. He's starting to the left. And here's Anoni, but robbed immediately by Fowler, McManaman. And through to Fowler in the first minute. And Owens in the centre waiting. It's a goal kick, but straight away I noticed there, David Pleat, that Hannah seems to have gone towards McManaman. That could be a man-to-man -man marking job. Yeah, but that wasn't that a delicious pass just on the side of the marking player to set uh, the player free. And it just ran away from him. If the pitch would not have been so greasy, he probably would have just kept that in. But uh, giving a clean pair of heels to Anoni. Now Celtic's first attack. Larson getting forward. That's a free kick to Celtic. Fowler penalised. Again, we've got Donnelly and Larson playing up front for Celtic. Jackie McNamara pushing in on the right. Tosh McKinley pushing down the left. Straight away, Donnelly unsettling the Liverpool defence. It needed the challenge from Rob Jones. That's not a bad cross either, but uh, the flag is up on this side. And the team settling down very much to the formations that you suggested. Yes, it looks as though Stubbs will try and sit in between the marking players, Anoni, who's currently picking up Owen, and on the other side, Mahi, who will be with Fowler. But they are very quick players, and Stubbs will have to be very alert at reading situations. And still, McManaman trying to uh, find a position which is not blocked by Hannah, who seems to me to have been deputed to follow him. Anyway, here are Liverpool with Biernaby. This is Paul Ince, the Liverpool captain, who's on a yellow card from the first leg. Jones. McManaman. Oh, it's a good ball. He's released Rob Jones. Fowler and Owen are waiting in the centre. On a good run, Celtic. Six wins and a draw in their last seven games. The draw, in fact, being the match against Liverpool. That was Carragher, who was playing on the right side of midfield tonight for Liverpool, having been in the centre-back position for the last couple of games. Not something new for McManaman to get man-marked now. Many teams in the Premiership are doing it. The most important thing is the Liverpool players aren't reluctant to give him the ball when they look up and see that he's marked. He can handle it. He was named in the England squad yesterday, as indeed were Fowler and Ince. Now it's Larson against Kavama. And against Jones. They've had so many big European nights at Anfield down the years and there are many supporters in the ground this evening, both from Liverpool and Celtic, who can remember the last meeting here back in 1966 when Liverpool won here 2-0 after losing the first leg 1-0. Here's big horse for Celtic. And Larson's coming in on this. Free kick. Oh, and Ince took it so quickly it hit the referee. McManaman is away from Hannah there, but a second tackle came in from McNamara. Craig Burley. Oh, flag was up. 
offside. So important for Celtic particularly, they keep it tight at the beginning. I read quotes from Craig Burley where he said that he'd be more than happy if Celtic get to half-time with no score. Puts greater pressure on Liverpool. Yes, in fact, Craig Burley was in the Chelsea team, beaten here 5-1 this time last year, so he should know a thing or two about what Liverpool can do to you at Anfield. But he's captain tonight, the uh, former Chelsea man for Celtic. Here's Ince. Carragher's pass was sure to Berger. Fowler's pulled away in the centre, Owen is on this side, it's still Patrick Berger. Finds Rob Jones. Good running by Berger into the other side of the penalty area. Now it's bad. And Björnaby. McManaman. And that's come off McNamara, McManaman may let it go for a corner. Except that the referee sees it as a goal kick. <laughs> There you see McManaman going for that ball, tracked by Hannah. I must say, I thought it was a corner, but it's history now. It's a header by Bab. If the game's anything like the first leg, there won't be much time to dwell on what's gone before. We'll be too busy keeping up with what's happening now. This is Bab. Now Björnaby. McManaman. Lovely playing surface here at Anfield. This is Carragher. Owen spins off to the right. Patrick Berger on the ball, looks for him. Foul is in the centre. Tosh McKinley. makes his run but he's offside good decision both pairs of front runners are going to have to work very hard tonight the two Celtic players trying to find space against the back four and the two Liverpool forwards against the three centre-back system yes as you said Owen being tracked by Anoni Fowler by Mahe and Stubbs at the moment the free man Try to bring them in close together and spin down the sides. They've both got real pace. Henrik Larsson and Donnelly trying to find a position here. And McManaman coming deep to do just that. Gets it back from Owen. Berger. McManaman again. Hannah, his faithful shadow, is alongside him, but he's found Michael Owen. Fowler's in the middle, he's pulling away from his defender now. Owen shoots, two deflections there. There was a flag up on the far side as well, and I suspect that's offside. Look, the wayward shot, but uh, Fowler certainly had strayed offside, and the Celtic defenders were very quick then as uh, Owen came across. They'll know more about him now, having played against him in the first leg. Very quick there to get on the edge of the box. You see the ball spiral there off the McManaman, and Fowler offside. McKinley. Here's Ince against Burley, and Ince won that battle, quite an important one it is too tonight. Ince was a bit below par on his own admission in the first match, he was suffering from flu. Burley's still in there though, so is Simon Donnelly here. Came off Phil Babb, now Berger, beaten by McNamara, there's trouble for Liverpool if that goes through, but it didn't. Hannah takes the throw, finds McNamara. Berger for Liverpool. Owen, Berger. This is Burley. Ince. Saw the space in front of him. Has he seen Fowler off to the right? He's found Owen on the left. McManaman. Berger. Rob Jones is moving up to his right here. Lays it in tight to Ince. It's Jones again. Simon Donnelly couldn't keep the ball in. Here's Owen with Anoni at his back.
Carragher. Liverpool with most of the possession. Veghorst challenges Berger. Burley. That's going to be the nub of it, I think, in there. The uh, central midfield. An important part of the battle area. Here's Phil Babb defending against Henrik Larsson. And well. Stubbs came to meet Fowler, and that was almost a good through ball to Donnelly. And Stubbs started very well for Celtic, looking to cover, attacking the balls in the air. But at the moment, there's a greater exchange and interchange of passes and movement by Liverpool, beginning to look threatening, particularly with Berger leaving his left-hand touchline and drifting into the midfield. This is McManaman. Stubbs across again. McNamara. Larson. Good tackle by Bad, who's also started very solidly. Well, we can now clearly see the shape. Those three Celtic defenders clustering round the two Liverpool strikers. One of which is Owen here was out big task for Mahi the uh, central defender I believe he's been injured and he hasn't trained as much as he would have liked recently he's got the task of marking he's a quick player left-footed player but he's got to mark Fowler and Fowler came back with a bang on Saturday yes Fowler scored of course that uh Fine goal at West Ham in defeat. This is Ince. There was a free kick given there against Larson, and uh, Liverpool have possession. This is Kavama. And now Carragher. Jones seeing plenty of the ball on the right. Slides it into Berger. Fowler getting into a good position again. They've just got to keep watching him like Hawks, those Celtic defenders. You just feel that with Berger supplying the passes, Fowler and Owen have looked sharp as needles in the last couple of games. This is why Riedler, the German, can't get in the starting lineup. And now, a bit of a slip there on the pitch by uh, Larson, but uh, he's up again. That was Fowler. This is Ince. McManaman in the centre circle. Vighorst is the player in front of him this time. And McManaman goes again. Fowler's shaking them off, He's, he looks really sharp. This is still Robbie Fowler, deflection, Owens underneath it, so is the goalkeeper. And that kick by Jonathan Gould, seeking out Henrik Larsson. Larsson appreciating there the excellent early kick of Jonathan Gould. Lovely half volley. I think he was getting some booze there, uh, Larson, David, because the Liverpool fans are referring back to the first match where they feel he dived on the penalty. Uh, but um, that, as I said, <laughs> really is history now. There were two penalty appeals in that game, and I think in the end, justice was probably done. We repeat that message for Andrew King in row 10 of the Centenary Stone. To meet Mr. Fenny in Centenary Stone reception, right away, please, with his ticket. some rousing singing again from the Celtic following. Berger. Bad. This is Ince. Fowler had two come to meet him there. Oh, look at that. No. The whistle's gone. The whistle's gone. Fowler was sandwiched by two Celtic players. Paul Ince would have much preferred the referee to have played on there. He was through on goal, but it's been pulled back for the free kick. Uh, it's typical Ince. He really pounced there. He's so quick at accelerating away from situations. Can you read this one, David? Uh, Björnaby, the left footer, is placing it. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it, it's worth it if the, if the German referee is determined to make them go 10 yards, then I'm sure that uh, Burnaby would think it's uh, worth, a, worth a crack. 
certainly got no depth for a cross ball or a high ball. That is Bjornaby right into the wall. They didn't quite know where it was for a moment, but they do now. Speculative free kick from all of 25 yards. Well, there's an assurance about Liverpool's passing early on. There's no question about that in this first quarter of an hour. Threading it quite nicely. This is Carragher. Again, some patience may be required. This is Donnelly for Celtic. McKinley, good running by Vighorst from midfield here. Bad goes across to challenge. He's a combative player, is Vighorst, the uh, Danish fellow in midfield. Any player steeped in the traditions of pass and move can't help but be pleased to be playing on this service tonight. It's absolutely beautifully trimmed, it's greasy, it's really perfectly suited for the quick, accurate, angled passing. Yes, it's zipping about, isn't it, the ball when uh, the passes are strung together. Very much the way Liverpool would like it, I would think. Play your own wicket, can't you, in a way? <laughs> anyway, the ball's cleared by Jonathan Gould and Stefan Mahe. McKinley trying to find Larson. Bit of an optimist, Larson. He always seems to think the ball might go past the defender, but it doesn't always do so. And here's Bjornaby. That's too long for Berger. Stubbs sees it safely back. That was good play by Celtic. Real tight marking on Owen, left Burnaby with no alternative but to hit the forward ball and they uh, comfortably let that ball run on to Jonathan Gold. There's tight marking all over the field, Liverpool are going to have to work. That's a header by Larson. it was Bab getting it away, then Berger. He lost out to Craig Burley and Simon Donnell is there and so is Burley, oh, Mac McNamara with the shot. And Anoni bangs it back, that would have been offside anyway. Tosh McKinley is actually playing quite well forward on the left for Celtic, isn't he? Yeah, he's pushed right in there. He will engage Jones when Jones comes into the middle third. Likewise, on this side, McNamara's job will be to, to close down Berger. But Berger's drifting inside. They're, they're rotating on this left-hand side. There's a lot going on tactically out there. And, uh, Patrick Berger has uh, come back into the Liverpool side recently. He's just playing in an advanced left-sided midfield position but the ball at the moment is on the other side it's a free kick to Liverpool they're appealing for the 10 yards and McManaman will pick it up and give it to Ince Jones on that side as well loses it gets it back Anoni Donnelly with Kavama Carragher Owen free kick Stubbs. I think it might be a yellow card here. The Merseyside are playing for Celtic. Alan Stubbs is being cautioned for taking the legs as well. Well, taking the legs rather than the ball, perhaps I should say. Uh, there's no need to challenge in that position. The ball is running towards the touch line. Owen's going out. He, he's not going to make a goal scoring chance from that position. He's got no need. Has a, can't have a strike at goalie. I mean, it's, it's completely unnecessary to make that challenge there. It's a free kick for McManaman. Bab was coming round the back. It's gone to Jones. Bab's still in there. That's his header. Tyler, uh, Fowler's in there. And at the other end, Hendrik Larson makes room for Tosh McKinley. 
Donnelly's gone off down the centre. Can they find him with the rock? long raking ball? Here comes David James, and he collides with his own defender. Simon Donnelly should have scored. He puts his head in his hands. The young number 14, what a chance for Celtic. And David James, what a let off for him. What a good deep ball in by McKinley. He spotted it. Nasty position for James to take. He collides. Whether there was a good call or not, I don't know. James came, he wanted to dictate it. And when it dropped to Donnelly, he couldn't quite manoeuvre the ball into the empty net. Big chance. Gone. What a sloppy piece of defending by Liverpool. And uh, I wonder how many chances Celtic will get as good as that. This is Berger. Ince. Fowler on the hunt. Well, Simon Donnelly is the top scorer, and he would have been expected to have put that in the net. This is Bjornaby to Berger. Fab to Carragher. Just a reminder to Liverpool that this tie still has to be firmly won. This is Carragher. No point in them looking for a draw here. It's too risky. Vighorst. Oh, look at Larson. He pulled away from Bjornaby. There wasn't a lot of cover at the time. Donald is making his way into the far side now. Kavama to clear. And headed back by McNamara. Bit of kidology there by Larson. That'll go Liverpool's way. What about that chance, David? Well, it was a, certainly a good spot. A real deep diagonal ball. There we see Burnaby rushing in. And James, I think as the ball dropped there, certainly he probably had more time as well. And he could have probably just controlled the ball and then rolled it. He tried to hit it on the up. On his left foot. I think Donnelly is more of a right-footed player. But um, whichever way you look at it, a wonderful opportunity. This is Fowler for Liverpool. I suppose we have to assume that either James didn't shout or Bjorn, he didn't hear him, one or the other. Well, I think the impact of the clash made James drop the ball. Anyway, plays at the other end now. Much to Liverpool's relief, it's with Rob Jones. Carragher, nice passer of the ball, this is Owen. And he's got that one in towards Fowler. Stubbs was the player whose head met it, it's a corner. Huge encouragement for Liverpool as Berger goes across to take it. A vibrant atmosphere. First corner, John? Yes, and for, forward for it comes Phil Babb. Jamie Carragher's in there as well. Berger's left foot. And the clearance is going to come to McManaman! Little bit annoyed with himself, half volley. No one attacking him, he had chance to get hold of it. A little bit loose with his body swing. Well, the Liverpool manager in the centre there, Roy Evans. Doug Livermore to the right, Ronnie Moran to the left, and the young reserve goalkeeper, Jürgen Nielsen, behind them. Larson looks for Donnelly. And then it's forward by Craig Burley for Tosh McKinley, who gets the other side of Rob Jones just for a second and gets a free kick. I have to say, uh, that justifies, in my view, a yellow card, because it was a clear obstruction. And had McKinley got the other side of him a little bit easier, and he'd beaten him, he deceived him, then he's going towards that byline. And Stubbs is up for it, number six. And Burley has come onto the edge of the area as well. Vighorst at the heart of things. Larson goes in. Not the biggest Larson, but he's got good movement. He's, he's proving that with movement across defenders, sharp movement, you can still get your headers in. There you see him attack that ball. Been a revelation at Celtic, I have to say. Well, they needed one, didn't they, after losing Di Canio um, and... Uh, Cadetti. Cadet, and, of course, Van Hooydonk last season. And, and don't forget, Darren Jackson and Tommy Johnson, the two strikers who they would have hoped to have paired up here, both out of the game at the moment. 
Yes, I think Larson came originally as a wide right. Yes. But he settled uh, on the front with good movement, and uh, Wim Janssen will be very pleased with his uh, goal-scoring record and uh, the way he's combined play. Yes, it shows you just a little threadbare, the Celtic squad, with only uh, five subs tonight, and three of those are young players who are hardly ever used in the first team, a clash of heads there. Five minutes gone at Anfield, no score in the second leg, which means that the aggregate remains the same, but of course, technically, Liverpool ahead on away goals. Now then, let's see how this happened. Well, clearly head-to-head. -head. The back of Fowler's head, Fowler's having to go off, he wants them both off. This is a precaution by the referee, uh, clash of heads, Anoni and Fowler being asked to go onto the touchline for treatment, or, or rather to go onto the touchline and probably then come straight back. As often happens, they've shaken hands down there. Natural uh, fact, John, in the Premiership with a head injury, once they've been treated on the field, they're allowed to stay on the field. This is UEFA, and uh, they have to just stand there until the referee allows them back on. There's all sorts of signalling going on down there. <laughs> He's waved them on now. That long kick from Gould is uh, seeking out Donnelly, who was... A, oh, there's a flag up here. There's an offside. Well, as yet, you'd say Celtic have had the best chance, wouldn't you? They've had the best chance, and also I feel they'll be pleased, or Bim Jansen will be particularly pleased, that they've restricted Liverpool in terms of making chances. Yes, they have. They've got a free kick in the Liverpool half as well. Alan Stubbs is going up, Craig Burley has got the ball. Stubbs up on the far side of the area, Vieghorst just tucked in from him. They're the two tallest. Stubbs gets the header and in goes Donnelly! And it's away by Phil Van Vieghorst! Oh, what a block! And they're appealing for handball, the Celtic players. They're saying it was with the hand. The referee has not given it yet. Is he going to speak to his assistant? It came off Björnaby, I think. And the referee seems to have given a corner. Celtic are horrified. They think it was a penalty. Well, it deceived me, John. I thought James. I thought James uh, got the volley. Certainly missed the first ball. It's instant heads. It's clear. When the volley comes in from Vikhorst. Well, it's... Uh... Burley, Vieghorst and Stubbs waiting for the corner. The chance may not have gone for Celtic here. Liverpool have to concentrate. And Stubbs coming in. And all that... Well, this tie seems to revolve around penalty appeals, doesn't it? There were two up at Celtic Park. Now, what? Well, look at this. It's headed out by Phil Babb. The volley is by Vieghorst. Well, a bit of head, a bit of hand, I would have said, by Björnaby. But if the intention was to head, and it probably was, and the hand was deemed to be... Well, you can go on forever, can't you? It wasn't given. Here's must, it. Must be hand to ball, of course, and it was such a fierce shot. Yeah, I reckon the referee might have had it right. This is Anoni. Now, Tosh McKinley, I tell you what, Celtic are really stretching Liverpool at the moment. Yeah, just the quality of Anoni's passing at times seems to let him down. He's won one or two crucial balls, and then he might need a softer pass but he's just tried a, a swing at the ball, he looks a real determined, uh, I'm almost going to say, hacker-whacker blocker, but uh, he looks a tough character. <laughs> it's a new one on me, that one, David, anyway. It's uh, given away there by Rob Jones, won back again by McManaman, and now we have to say Celtic have probably had the two best moments so far. Credit to Björnaby for the block. Here he is in attack. Berger's in the centre, so is Owen, so is Fowler. And out come the legs from that... Uh, Forest of green and white shirts. This is McManaman. Ince lining it up for the shot, Paul Ince. Comes off the head of Phil Babb, whose header out actually was what prompted that shot from Vieghorst. Please, 
a bit tight, but Sturges was able to cope with it, and it's gone to Mahe. Tosh McKinnell is outside him. Mahe's gone into the gap behind. Over comes Kavama. The Frenchman in possession. But not now. And as at Celtic Park, the match moving at a furious pace. England plays Scotland, which is basically what's happening here, even though there are so many foreigners, the fancy at the, the British way. You normally get a hectic game, and uh, I think that's a pretty fair description of this opening half hour. That's a great ball by Bjornaby, it really is to Patrick Berger, and that's his left foot, the stronger of the two. Now Carragher. saying about the British game that was a uh, Norwegian passing to a, a Czech that was out from Vigorst well sometimes you say a match needs a goal but in a funny way this one doesn't need a goal to keep us on the edge of our seats does it because <laughs> the way it's balanced with the 2-2 two -two score in the first match means that uh, I think it's because we're surprised you on the way Celtic tactically are coping with the Liverpool pass and move and certainly McManaman fouled there by his jailer Hannah that hasn't really been able to influ influence the game as such Berger's been leaving the left touch line that means Burnaby must get forward and use the space that is left but at the moment Celtic are playing a very very good tactical game they're coping they're playing man for man and they're restricting Liverpool and that's why it's fascinating Absolutely. Kavama meant to find Berger with that. He did in the end. Berger's got a uh, oh, good turn. Very good turn. Fowler. That wasn't so good. And Simon Donnelly always looking for the through ball when uh, the Liverpool attack is broken up. Yes, Vim Janssen has clearly done his homework on Liverpool again. They haven't made the sort of chance that... Uh, Celtic in fact have missed although in a way it was made for them wasn't it by the collision between uh, James and Bjornaby Bjornaby made amends by stopping the big horse shot the two most exciting moments so far both at the Liverpool end here's Phil Babb Berger's made a run forward Babb carries the ball well three to his right one of them's Berger and Stubbs got a foot in but he also got injured just hobbling back now. And the Liverpool finding that the Celtic challenges are coming in so swiftly, there isn't time to give the ball. Oh, Larson. Nice touch back to him by Donnelly. McManaman. Ince. Sometimes there isn't time for Liverpool to cushion the ball, is there, when it's first passed? When Liverpool have got the ball at the back, if they're too slow in the build-up, Celtic are able to regroup. They've got actually ten behind the ball when the build-up is slow. David James being a bit sloppy there. They're getting ten back behind the ball and they're saying, come and beat us, come and find some space. And they're doing it so well. And I just feel they've got to accelerate the pace a little bit when they get into the middle third. He's looking at his watch. He knows that if he gets to half-time with no score, then he can have a very upbeat half-time team talk. Yes, that was uh, Vim Janssen, the coach of uh, Celtic, with Murdo McLeod next to him. Formerly, of course, a player there, and uh, now the assistant coach. This is McManaman. Coming inside, Hannah. Now he's opened it up, McManaman. Oh, and... When it left his foot, you began to wonder. But uh, Jonathan Gould was in the line of fire. There's a whistle for offside. Good goalkeeping there because he curved his shot and put a little bit of pace on it. Not his best shot, but it wasn't a bad effort. There you see him coming across. But the way Jonathan Gold just moves his feet across, doesn't try and do anything spectacular, just takes it cleanly. He's kept the very good goal so far. No problems, he's been calm. Yes, and uh, now that the other goalkeeper, young Stuart Kerr, is fit again and sitting on the bench, Jonathan Gold knows he's got a battle on to hold his place. Now, Bab again showing capacity to come forward with the ball. Fowler makes a run right to left. Here's Michael Owen. 
Fowler goes right again. Here is Robbie Fowler. He's the only one there at the moment, and that's why the ball was cleared with some comfort. Donnelly with Kavama at his back. This is Henrik Larsson. Burley's made a run from midfield, so has Vighorst here, and tries to get Donnelly in on the far side. Mr. Cool there was Kavama. And Liverpool string four or five passes together. McManaman against Hannah. And he's got past him, McManaman. That's a great run. Oh, it was nearly a very good pullback to Berger, who gets it now anyway. Owen's gone to the right. It's still Berger. Fowler's in there. Header by Anoni. Offside against uh, Owen. The message from Mr. Sean Brown of Pettis Town to contact the nearest police officer right away, please. So important the crowd doesn't transmit any anxiety to the players, to the Liverpool players, that is. Well, I think the uh, real excitement of this competition, David, um, the UEFA Cup, is that you do know at the end of the night somebody's got to go out, haven't they? I mean, it's, it really is a, a proper cup competition in the knockout sense. Stubbs. McNamara. Oh, that's come off Kavama and Donnelly was in there. And what's David James doing? Oh, it's a free kick to Liverpool anyway. Donnelly was the Celtic player involved there. Looks just a little unease when those angled balls are played into the box. Yes, the Liverpool. Uh, Defence have got to keep an eye on Donnelly. There was a bit of uh, a header by Kavama initially, then it was a foul by Donnelly on Jones that uh, was whistled for. That's Fowler. I can't believe we've been playing 37 minutes already. It seems to have gone so quick. That's forward by Hanna. The header was by Bab. Then it's Ince. Now Patrick Berg has gone over to the right wing for Liverpool. McManaman's come over to the left. This is Carragher trying to get Michael Owen through. It's a good pass by Carragher. Stretches Celtic. Fowler's in the middle. Mahe with the tackle. On Owen. McManaman. Fowler by the penalty spot. This is Bjornaby. Berger goes in to join him now. Here comes Fowler. Out it comes to Rob Jones. Back in it goes to Ince. Header by Hannah. This is McNamara. Free kick. Bit of pushing. Well, McNamara had such a fine game in the first leg, particularly in the second half of the game when he surged forward on the right and helped transform the tie. Not the strongest player, nice and tidy on the ball. It looks as though he enjoys moving forward. Since that tie, he's been playing more in the middle of the field because of the injury problems at Celtic. Here's Bab up with Larson. Carragher hooks it on for Liverpool. Mahe for Celtic. Here's Patrick Berger. Can he get it down the line? No, he can't. Owen was free if he had. Well, Mahai did well there, he sold himself, but he made sure he got the interception and enables the Celtic players to get back and form that barrier in front of the three centre-backs. Celtic supporters, the 3,000 at the Anfield Road end, making enough noise for twice as many. Here's Carragher for Liverpool. Owen, Ince, McManaman, but again, the challenge comes in so quickly. McNamara. Liverpool being denied space. Flags up on this side.
it's a free kick I think to Liverpool I don't quite know why the assistant referee chose to flag because they had the ball Vim Janssen's come off the bench to remonstrate with the decision as well it certainly wasn't a free kick in that position where Burnaby took the ball from anyway here's Jones Robbie Fowler just can't get free can he Frenchman Mahe is just on his shoulder the whole time. And likewise, Anoni with Owen. That's Anoni's header. They'll probably have to try and get a midfield player through. And of course, I suppose the chief uh, hope there is McManaman or maybe Berger. Well, stop sitting a deep, rangy, long ball there out to Tosh McKinley on the left. He loves that pass. Lovely striker of ball is Alan Stubbs. This is Fowler. And now it's McManaman. And again, how quickly the challenge comes in behind him. It was Hannah. This is Stubbs. Now Anoni. And McManaman has robbed Anoni. And three of the local players are up with him. McManaman to Berger. Owen far post. Now there's a flag. There's a flag for offside. Well, that's possibly about the fifth offside decision in the game that Celtic have got the benefit of. Look quite well drilled when they come towards the 18-yard box. And straight away, the ball back in play. Celtic wasting no time. And the pop stand now to the right, starting to make themselves heard, and rightly so. There's a bit of a contest between the fans tonight. No free kick there. It's forward by Bab. Header by Anoni. Now Larson. Gets it back from McNamara. Looks a little bit like Noddy Holder out of Slade, doesn't he? Vim Janssen. Famous uh, player for Holland in two World Cup finals. Knows his game. And certainly has found a way of, so far, containing Liverpool. His players carrying out the instructions to the letter, and that's a free kick in their favour. It's... Mahe has gone down. Owen was the Liverpool player who challenged him. And this is the Frenchman who many people felt wouldn't play in this game. He was injured on Saturday, didn't play then. Now, the people have appeal to those of you in the centre of the cup stand and nearest the front. Please stay in your seats. You're obscuring the view of those people behind you. Please stay in your seats during the game. This is a big match for the Liverpool coaching staff and the team. Uh, they wouldn't want to go out of Europe at this early stage. And uh, they've got a fight on their hands here without a doubt. Now back on the pitch, Stefan Mahe doesn't look too happy. I thought he just got caught in the lower calf region. Owen accidentally caught him as he was running behind him. Danson now be desperate in these few minutes before half-time to make sure they don't lose concentration with a man short. They probably will put Hannah as a marker, a deeper marker, that is. I think they might have pulled Tosh McKinley back as well, David, actually. This is Horst. And in this moment, when they've got an extra man, can Liverpool capitalise? Celtic are down to ten. We're coming up to half-time. And the injured party is Stefan Mahe. Janssen definitely uh, and desperately waving Donnelly to come deeper. When it's like this, with a couple of minutes to half-time, you can afford to play just one up front. You need to get that other player back, and uh, Larson and Donnelly can forget the ball. They just want them to fill in the midfield, fill the spaces. Yes, yeah, could be a critical couple of minutes, this. Bjorna be forward to McManaman. Donnelly has come back, as you can see here. And back on comes Stefan Mahe. So the full complement is restored for Celtic in the last minute of the first half. Bow, Bab on Donnelly. It's 
Stubbs is going forward for the free kick. Says to Burley, hold on, wait till I get there. Burley plays it short instead to McNamara. That's his shot. And Stubbs is annoyed. Yes, he wanted Burley to hold on there and uh, play a diagonal ball, but uh, the captain decided to go for the shorter one. And we're now in stoppage time. This is Fjernaby. Carragher. Forward goes foul, and now has he shaken off his marker? Over comes Stubbs. Well, it's been another breathless half between these two. Beekhorst, handball. But never mind, it's half-time. Celtic will be pleased with that. They've had a good 45 minutes there, keeping the score here at 0-0. 2-2 on aggregate. David James, in a calamitous moment with Björneby, very nearly gave Celtic the lead. Simon Donnelly failing to take advantage when offered an empty net. And the Celtic supporters must be well pleased with the way their team have attuned themselves to the task here at Anfield. At half-time, on the night, it's... Second half because of that. Just at the moment, we should point out it is nil-nil here, 2-2 two -two on aggregate. If it stayed this way, Liverpool would go through to the next round. Let's rejoin David and John. Yes, absolutely right there, Des, and just extending that slightly, if Liverpool do get a goal, of course, then Celtic need two, because 1-1 uh, one -one would also send Liverpool through to the next round with their two away goals. So it just reinforces what uh, Alan Hansen and Trevor Brooking were saying, that Liverpool have got to develop more attacking options and Celtic now will be playing in the second half from right to left the score between English and Scottish clubs in Europe over the years is 17-6 in the favour of the English but that uh, means very little on a night like this but Liverpool have never lost to a Scottish club over two legs in Europe they've had four wins out of four but they've still got a task on here Patrick Berger Björneby who took the throw there. We haven't seen too much of him surging down the left flank so far, David, please. No, I felt at times that uh, once Berger comes in field, then uh, he, Burnaby should be looking to try and make the most of that space that he leaves. I just feel that both fullbacks have been just a little bit uh, reticent to push forward. They're not used to playing a back four. Uh, they've been playing with three centre-backs and wing-backs for some time now, Liverpool. They've had this slight change. We know Jones likes to go forward, as does McAteer when he plays on the right, and Burnaby the same is most effective when he's going from the mid-third to the attacking third. So um, I would think the full-backs need to come on just a little bit more. There was a foul there by Rob Jones on Tosh McKinley. The referee had a warning word with Jones, but he didn't show him a card. Three kicks taken by Stefan Mahe. Looks towards Henrik Larsson far side for Celtic. This is Berger hooking it forward, looking for Fowler. And no neither marker comes across with him. Free kick to Celtic. As Alan Hansen said, the longer it stays nil-nil, the more tense Liverpool and their supporters might become. Anyway, here's Donnelly trying to make it 1-0 to Celtic. Cleared by Carragher. Mahe. Vighorst. it could have been worse uh, if McManaman hadn't done what he did at Celtic Park we could have had Celtic going into this match 2-1 up then again there were moments in that first leg when Liverpool could have gone further ahead early on so uh, it's all ifs and buts but it's been a very compelling UEFA Cup tie this across the two matches when the draw came out you couldn't really imagine it being any other way Throw in taken here by Mahe to Larson. Donnelly's in the middle. And at that very moment, Larson lost his balance. Well, Roy Evans will be looking. He'll be saying at half time, you must keep calm, you must keep patient. 
you don't have to win it quickly that first goal is going to be the the one the most vital goal obviously if Celtic get it then that really does make for an incredible uh, uh, second half but um, Liverpool must be patient well this is McManaman picking it up from Bjernaby Berger's made a good run forward it's still McManaman now it's in and Jones Fowler and Owen searching for space here's Owen Jones has run forward three in the penalty area now Owen on Veghorst you know, the smallest man on the field against possibly one of the strongest very powerful Morton Veghorst yes I think anybody who felt Celtic were there to be brushed aside before this tie started has uh, got to have been impressed by the presence of uh, Veghorst in midfield he and Burley have been uh, good competitors you'd know of course about Burley from his uh, his Chelsea days push and shove and uh, free kick in Robbie Fowler's favour Liverpool get on with it quickly Bjorn if he's got McManaman scooting down the left hand side Hannah the faithful shadow is the defender in the way hasn't put a foot wrong so far this <laughs> this is good play by Stubbs and by Veghorst and now Tosh McKinley there's a right old battle going on between McKinley and Jones the referee has uh, signalled here for an indirect free kick and I can only assume he's given obstruction against Jones right Celtic take it this is uh, Veghorst with the ball in. The header comes uncertainly off the back of Phil Babb. Just when Burley was threatening him, and it's a corner to Celtic, which Tosh McKinley will go across to take with his left foot. And danger here. Stubbs is forward. That's the end where the Celtic fans are gathered. He's having a conversation with Veghorst. He's spinning around a bit. Burley is by the penalty spot. And Burley comes in, and that's a goal kick. A little surprising there to see Anoni, the tall, strong centre-back, not going to add his weight to that uh, corner, give them another possibility in the air. B. Corsten stops the main headers, attacking that ball with Burley. Well, it's Anoni's first game of the season, and... Uh... He's adjusted very well, hasn't he? He's marked Fowler very conscientiously. Yes, he hasn't exactly been flavour of the month with the new manager, and um, he's finding it uh, difficult. Uh, but tonight's a great opportunity. And here's an opportunity for Paul Lynch. It's a cracker, and it's over. That's the drive that Liverpool are seeking, coming from the middle. We haven't seen too many shots, it was really rather wide and handsome. It's Phil Babu won that one, put back again by Burley to Simon Donnelly. McNamara on the far side, didn't get it, it was intercepted by Berger. Now then, McManaman to his left and Owen Fowler to his right, and Owen coming in now, and a good challenge by Anoni. McManaman tries to retrieve it and does crowded out is he free kick free kick Hannah was the player that went in a little strongly Liverpool in a good position here Carragher in the penalty area with Bab Bjornaby to take Fowler's up it's going to come out to Paul Lynch. No, it's not. It's hooked away by Anoni. Inch didn't control it first time. Oh, listen now to the Anfield roar. In the old days, the cop used to almost suck the ball in the net. They're sitting down in the modern stadium, but uh, can they draw Liverpool forward here with their encouragement? Not like that. Well, I think Liverpool will force the issue. They'll just push a little bit more. The back four will squeeze. Leave more space behind for James to look after. 
try and play just a few yards further up the field, get more support a little bit quicker to Owen and Fowler. Yes, that's what's required. They haven't really had what I'd call a clean opening yet, either of them. That's a compliment to the Celtic defenders. On by Burley. And again to McNamara. And McNamara continues his run as Bab goes across. And it was Jackie McNamara who, from that side, scored at Celtic Park, getting into an advanced position. Needs to be watched. Here's Donnelly. Well, there's been a strong nerve about this Celtic performance. By no means overawed. It's going to be a free kick for McNamara to take. They'll wait for Stubbs to come forward here to join Vig Horst and Burley. And Burley beaten to it by Ince. Now, is Owen quick enough? No, he's not there, but this is Jones, and Liverpool could have a break on. It needs a touch. Oh, good interception by Anoni. He was one against three there for a moment. Absolutely vital. Celtic just got caught there. It's a poor kick by James, and you have the feeling that Liverpool are edgy, but need something to settle them down. Berger to Jones. That's straight to Anoni again. Stubbs lofting it forward towards Donnelly. Up goes Bab. Free kick again to Celtic, foul by Ince. Burley seems to take over at all the free kicks. He's just going to bang in the face at the moment there as he places the ball. But he's waiting for Stubbs this time to go right forward to the edge of the area. That is Stubbs. It's dangerous. Oh, it was dipping as well. Well, Stubbs went up a couple of times in the first half and looked at danger when the ball did come in his direction. That was a fine header. I have to say he's having a splendid game tonight. Gets up well and directs it well. Yes, he's doing himself a power of good with the supporters here, Alan Stubbs. He didn't have the happiest of times when he first went north of the border from Bolton. Here's Vighorst. Oh, that's well played. Craig Burley. Now Simon Donnelly and Larson over on the far side. Wanted it played early. Foul by Carragher. They've taken the free kick quickly. This is Burley. Outside him is Dosh McKinley. Goes the other way towards Larson. And here comes Donnelly. And that needed McManaman to step in. There's a lovely tempo about that attack. The way Vigors quickly put the free kick down and played it, they really want to get on with the job. And they want to get on with the corner as well. Tosh McKinley's gone across to take it. And they've got to watch Vigors again here. And Stubbs. It's too high even for Stubbs this time. Ten minutes gone in the second half. No score in the second leg. Liverpool still technically ahead on away goals. McManaman heads it forward for Berger. Here's Ince now. They've got a chance both ways. And again, a Celtic player in the way. No hands as the referee and McNamara looking for Donnelly at the other end. Comes inside Kavama. Larson's up with him. This is Larson taking on Bab. Good tackle. Had to be. Fast and furious. Don't take your eyes off it. Vighorst. Stubbs on the far side, Hannah. Celtic seem to be growing, if anything, in confidence. McNamara's pushed right down on the far side on Bjornovic. Burley comes inside well. Donnelly's square. Oh, he got caught between Donnelly and Beekhorst, and this is Carragher for Liverpool. Owen wants it on this side. Fowler's gone through the centre. This is Owen. And now it's Jones, has the momentum in that Liverpool attack subsided? Well, there'll be a free kick now, it's Mahe on Owen. Well, Celtic at the other end, very nearly punctured the Liverpool defence. But now they have some defending to do and Bjornaby with his uh, left foot has come across to take charge of this.
Gould wants three in his wall. He's not happy. Vionavi shoots. It's come back out to Rob Jones. Now Owen. Back to Jones again. Bab stayed forward in the middle. Carragher. Across to Kavama. And now Vionavi. Oh, it was meant for Berger, but it was Donnelly that intercepted. And here are Celtic with big horse, and they've got players coming from all over the place, Celtic here. Jackie McNamara with another inspired run. Here he is, number four. Oh, that was close as well. A last-ditch challenge is needed, and that's a foul by Burley on McManaman, who shoves him. And the referee has to get involved. First sign of temper, McManaman spoken to. Super, superb tackle by Carragher to stop the one-two there on the edge of the box. Very responsible play. Here's Jones. Oh, mistake by Mahe Owen. Oh, the covering play has slipped. Oh, he hasn't. He's... Now, did Stubbs catch? Stubbs has been booked. Did he catch him? I don't think he did. I think he fell of his own accord there, Michael Owen. The fans are booing. Referee said play on, and they are, my goodness me, they are. This is uh, Tosh McKinley, he's got Big Horst in the middle with Donnelly. Others arriving far side. It's a goal kick, it's a goal kick now, then Michael Owen is still crouched down in the other half. David. Well, I would definitely, you saw him running, certainly Stubbs was way away from him, he never, he might have just caught him with his trailing leg, but I don't think there was any intent on Stubbs' part. He realised he couldn't get to him to make the tackle. Well, had the assistant referee, who was nearest of all, decided there had been any intent, he'd have been off because he's already had a yellow card. But uh, anyway, play goes on. This is McManaman. Bjornov is outside him. Still McManaman can't quite get past the last man, who's Hanna. Owen is back on the pitch on this side. Liverpool back to 11. Burnaby. And Stubbs is in there. Formidable at the heart of the Celtic defence. And only tried to save the corner, but he didn't succeed. corner to Liverpool but what they really need here is a goal Phil Babb forward Carragher's in there as well so is Paul Ince Carragher's coming in and it's going to be a throw in on this side Now, there's some space here, you can't be offside from a throw in, and Owen had found a position down by the line. Anyway, Carragher plays it to Berger. That's the Fowlers in there, and it's going to come to Bab. But Celtic valiantly defend their lines. Referee's given a free kick. Let's well, just see this one more time, David. Um, Michael Owen going for the line. Stop well, he'd already stop. slid... Oh, I think he caught him with uh, just with the... Bottom of the studs, perhaps, there, as Owen went over the trailing leg, but he'd already committed himself to the sliding tackle stubs, hadn't he? Anyway, it was deemed not to be a foul, and Stubbs stayed on. Here's Berger. Now Carrigan. And Ince, working it away towards McManaman on the left-hand side. Liverpool with three the other way. Wanting McManaman to open up the defence, he might do it this time, Owen goes near post, Fowler comes in behind, and still it's a Celtic player that gets there first. That's where McManaman needs to work, in that final third. Here's Carragher. And Jones. And Owen's coming in. And McManaman to shoot. Who's in the R's? doesn't matter whether it's European football. Look at this, Larson. It's uh, so enthralling the way the game is just flowing from one side of the pitch and one end to the other. No letter. Larson for Celtic. Hammered away by Bam. This is Robbie Fowler, but I don't think he's going to reach this before uh, it goes out. 
62 minutes gone in the second leg of this UEFA Cup tie. Liverpool nil, Celtic nil at Anfield. But because it was 2-2 in Glasgow, Wim Janssen knows if it stays like this, his team go out. Oh, it's a fair effort with the left foot. The game will slowly change, I think, in the last quarter now as Celtic, particularly V-Course, pushes forward just that little bit more. He's finding it difficult. He's done a good holding job in there with Burley. They played very sensibly. Now he's got to open that midfield up by pushing a little bit more forward. And Liverpool, I feel, have the pace up front to spring, particularly if McManaman can play a little bit further up the field. Yes, the fact that Celtic do need the goal, as you say, may just give Liverpool the bit of space that's been denied them so far. We shall see. Donnelly. McManaman. Carragher. That's not a good passer of the ball, is Carragher. But that's just a little too strong. Good vision, though, looking for Michael Owen. Yes, they've been disciplined, Celtic. They've now got to be daring, haven't they? <laughs> Liverpool have been restricted. They've got to try and wriggle free. McManaman to Ince. Carragher to Jones. Berg has made a run here. Causes a corner. Ince and Bab will be on the 18-yard line here. Owen goes in close, Fowler goes with him. Carragher comes up. That is Jamie Carragher jumping with a no knee, but forcing a corner on the far side. On all corners, Owen is standing on the line and he's unmarked. And if they can just get a header back across the goal or in front of Jonathan Gould, then I'm sure Owen may spin and win himself some glory. Bionavi will take this one. Cluster of players around the penalty spot. Ince is forward away by Craig Burley for Celtic. Now look at Larson if he was to beat Kavama here, but he didn't. Well, 25 minutes to go, unless of course it was 2-2, and I don't think that's all that likely at the moment. This is Fowler, and McManaman, Carragher, Liverpool flooding the Celtic half with red shirts here, this is Rob Jones, Berger again, free kick, assistant referee's flag raised against Stefan Maher, Jones short to Carragher, Kavama, now Phil Bad. It's passing all right here, but uh, it's further forward. Liverpool need the penetration. Haven't created what you'd call a real golden opportunity yet. This is Owen. Now then, was he tripped as he went to the line? The flag is up. It's a free kick to Liverpool. This may be their chance. Well, that's the third or fourth heavy challenge that Mahi's made tonight. Well, it's brought Phil Bad forward. And Berger can curl this in with his left foot, I would think. McManaman's got his arm up, Carragher's there. Celtic defending the... Here's McManaman. Jones, Fowler's far side. Jones to Bjornaby. The shot's on for Bjornaby, but it's over. Well, Jones and Burnaby playing further up the field. Burnaby, a good striker of the ball, likes to hit shots from 30 yards, quite capable of scoring. Liverpool now condensing the space more and more. Well, what will have pleased Vim Janssen and displeased Roy Evans, David, is that we've been playing 67 minutes, and I don't think Jonathan Gould's had a difficult save to make. Fowler. Owen. 
Berger goes into the centre. Good touch by Beghorst. So attentive defensively, Celtic, but uh, the conundrum for Liverpool is to find a way through with Ince here. Fowler's has gone to the left, but Ince won't get. Oh, he's been chopped. It's a free kick. Jackie McNamara. Central, 30 yards. Celtic with everybody pulled back. Berger with his left foot could be a threat. No, oh, it wasn't. Here it comes again to Berger. Ince. Jones. Foul is coming in from the far side. Oh, the header out just evades McManaman. Who wins it back? Fowler's in the middle. So is Berger. This is Fowler. It's Ince. Lovely spot by McManaman there. Benefiting from the defender's failure to get the ball away. Here we see it again. The challenge. Quickly makes for the byline. Has a quick look up. Plays it beautifully into Ince's path. Hits it hard and true on his left side, though. Well, the Liverpool supporters, we, as we approach the last 20 minutes, will be saying, as long as Celtic don't score, we're all right. Here's Vighorst, but don't rule it out. Vighorst again. McKinley. It's a good-looking cross. Simon Donnell is up for this, but it's going to fall well for McManaman on the break. He's got Fowler and Owen up with him. A lot of green shirts funneling back. McManaman driving at them now. He's going at Hannah. Oh, what a poor pass straight to Stefan Mahe. There were two or three options on for him there, he didn't find any of them. But here he is again. And those two or three Liverpool players are still well forward. Fowler, Owen and Berger. McManaman needs to find one of them. And he hasn't again. Yeah, two rather poor passes there. I, I just sense in the centre of the field, Celtic tiring just that little bit. McNamara there was had it all on there, he couldn't quite get his feet. And I'm sure that at this stage of the game, new legs may be required. 20 minutes to go, Celtic needing a goal. I've never seen a European match at Anfield where Liverpool have gone 70 minutes without creating a real chance. But that is the way of it at the moment. Which is a compliment to the way Celtic have applied themselves to the task. Defensively, very sound. Very disciplined. But here's Fowler, and once or twice helped by a lack of touch on the Liverpool side, it should be said. Bjernaby. Paul Ince. They need that thrust from midfield now. It's a foul by Henrik Larsson on the Liverpool captain. McNamara playing a little bit more further forward now. That's the first card that Janssen's played. Yeah, he's got to play one or two, hasn't he? Owen, McManaman. Oh, he's got Owen in here! Owen! <laughs> Just evaded Anoni for a split second, Michael Owen there. But the shot didn't have the power to trouble Jonathan Gould. Here's Berger. Is this leading up to something for Liverpool? It's McManaman. It's Bjernaby. Now look at Fowler. He's got away. It's Robbie Fowler for Liverpool. Not quite. Well, you have to say the Celtic marking has been so alert and concentrated. Fowler and Owen have had leeches following them all, all evening. And when they've got away, Stubbs has been tidying up. There you see Mahi really making it difficult for Fowler to get the shot cleanly. I think maybe Fowler's first touch just sent the ball a little bit away from him, didn't it? There's Mahe again. Bit of pulling there by Henrik Larsson. It's a free kick to Liverpool in their own half. isn't it <laughs> when you know that a nil nil draw at home is going to get you through here 
is Kavama. Fab. Still no team, neither team has used a substitute. Liverpool could, if they wish to, bring on Karl Heinz Riedler, of course, the German. McNamara now playing more as an outside right. Chasing that ball from Stubbs's long kick. And Hannah still sticking very close to McManaman. Donald is on that side as well at the moment. First to a Celtic player, then to the referee, anywhere except to their own. <laughs> McManaman penalised, it's a free kick to Celtic. And they'll be aware now, the Celtic players, they've got to go for broke. They've got to try to get the goal. The arms are up from Larson. 18 is Tosh McKinley. Alan Stubbs, number six, is going up to join them all. Bab challenges him. Back in by Big Horse, out again by Bab. The chasers up front are Berger and Owen. The defender is Mahe. Play on, says the, the assistant referee. This is Berger. Now then, McManaman's free on the far side if he can be found. Oh, Hannah just got his foot to it. Gould has to kick. Flags up on the far side for offside as the ball comes back from the goalkeeper. Whew. Superb delivery by Gould, he's really kicked the ball well off the deck tonight. Michael Owen for Liverpool. Mahe still there for Celtic. And Larson now runs with Kavama. James has stayed at home. And his kick, nothing too clever. This looks a little unsettled as James. Can Celtic put enough pressure on him to test him? Well, they've got a quarter of an hour to do it. It's McKinley to Larson. And McNamara's coming in far side. Oh, and there's Donnelly in there. And uncertain was the word again for the Liverpool goalkeeper there. Simon Donnelly had the chance with the header. Perhaps didn't get quite the power on it here. There we see a lovely deep cross, which is headed back. Perfect ball return, but once again it was Bab, I think it was, going with the goalkeeper. It was. They couldn't make up their mind which one was going to stop it, could they? It was actually Jackie McNamara who headed it back from the far side. He's looking a little bit ominous on that uh, flank again against Björnaby. Here's Patrick Berger. No sign of any substitutions, which is a little bit surprising, although Riedler is uh, loosening up. Well, he's a top-class German international. I don't think he's too thrilled about being left out, really, but uh, that's a noni forward. He, need, he needs to uh, just be ready now if Liverpool decide, although having said that, of course, Liverpool don't have to score, Celtic do. Now a little bit of a nonsense there between Owen and McKinley. Tempers rising. As they do so, I can tell you there's extra time at Villa Park. Aston Villa and Bordeaux. Nil-nil. So that one's on a knife edge. This one's on a knife edge. Stubbs has gone up to join Donnelly. It's going to be Vighorst with the kick. Donnelly heads it on. Burley does so as well. Kavame with the clearance. Vighorst. Michael Owen can't get round his man. Vim Janssen's come to the edge of the technical area. Oh, and the referee gave that to Liverpool, and Vigos was so disgusted he threw the ball away and got a yellow card. And, uh, well, uh, the coach is very upset as well. They felt there that the officials made the wrong decision, and it's got Vigos into trouble, and it's got the crowd behind Liverpool again. Leicester City are out of the UEFA Cup. They've lost 2-0 at home to Atletico Madrid and gone out 4-1 on aggregate. Oh dear, Owen's fallen over again, nobody near him. McManaman, that's a goal kick. So we lose one of our English representatives. That's 
disappointing uh, result for Leicester, particularly as they did so superbly well in the first game in Madrid. Looked as though they'd done uh, really more than half the job. Meantime, here in this UEFA Cup tie, Liverpool nil, Celtic nil. 12 minutes left. If it stays like this, Liverpool go through. Celtic would have to score. McManaman. McNamara. Play on, is it? No, the referee paused, looked at it, and then gave the free kick to Celtic. Jackie McNamara on that side has had two fabulous games, really. One or two wild challenges, John. Just yeah, a chance of it spilling over in the last few minutes is, uh, as one team, Celtic particularly, need to force the issue, need to play in that half, need to get the goal. Well, Vighorst is up, Stubbs is up. Larson's there. It's going to come to Tosh McKinnon. Two against six there when Larson went through onto that pass. And Simon Dolody made great ground there. There you see him at the top of the picture, make terrific ground to get at that near post. Well, the Liverpool sides of the ground were ominously silent then. Donnelly could have put them out the UEFA Cup with ten minutes to go. They found their voices again now. Pouring with rain out there. But it's getting a bit slippery for Liverpool in general. This is McNamara. Burley waiting in the middle. He's joined the attack as well almost full-time now. McManaman, Berger. You just wonder if Celtic's desperation, which it must be in the last ten minutes, might give Liverpool an opening as they come out of their own half. Will we see Riedler? McManaman. Fowler. Berger's made a run on this side of the pitch. Fowler still holds on, but he can't beat them all, surely. It's a free kick against him. The one option Riedler does give them is the ability or more chance to head a goal. Yeah, but they don't need a goal, David, do they really? I mean, they might need him to hold it up a bit, but it's Celtic that need the goal, isn't it? But if they <laughs> sit back too deep, if they sit back too deep and just accept the pressure in the last ten minutes, there's a chance Celtic may get one. Take your point. Here's David James. Yes, you can't rule that out. McNamara, now then, here's Larson. But he just shoved or pulled uh, Kavama there. Celtic fitness level is very, very high, isn't it? They're still close to every Liverpool player who gets the ball, harassing them. Björnaby. Oh, that's a, oh, it was a great turn by McManaman, and he was blocked. And I would have thought that was possibly by Hannah, a yellow card offence, but uh, referee hasn't shown it, and it's McManaman again. And again he takes them on, and again he goes down, and again it's a free kick. And Björnaby places the ball with some deliberation here. Liberal roughing, very liberal. Four players in the middle, waiting for the cross for Liverpool. Björnaby delivers it away by Stubbs. Henrik Larsson with Babbitt's back. Back put back pulled him back. That's a free kick to Celtic. 
and this is Burley, and on this side of the pitch they've got McKinley, and now it's Hendrik Larsson, and Burley goes through, and here's Jackie McNamara, and Carragher missed his tackle, and Donnell is ahead of him. McKinley on this side against Cavano, who had to get that away quickly. Riedler is waiting to come on for Liverpool, but the action is so frantic there's no break in play. This is McKinley. Free kick, surely, Rob Jones. An exchange between, oh, yellow card, Rob Jones. Yellow card for the Liverpool number two. Free kick to Celtic. Stubbs has gone forward. Anxious moments for Liverpool. Burley will take it. Stubbs has gone up. And it's going to be a substitution first. Robbie Fowler off. Carl Heinz Riedler on. McKinley will take the kick. Stubbs is coming in from the far side. It didn't carry to him. Well, let me remind you if you need reminding. Six minutes to go. There won't be extra time now, that's for sure. Six minutes to go. If it stays like this, Liverpool are through. If Celtic score and hold on, Liverpool are out. a tense last few minutes this is certain to be Kavama for Liverpool interception by Donnelly this is Veghorst he's got Burley running ahead Donnelly joins in as well again McNamara to his right and Donnelly a bit ambitious there but he has got a corner off Bath the Celtic fans are going wild at that end they know they're still in this McKinley's gone across to take the corner I'm looking to see if Anoni goes up could quite easily Liverpool have got no one up the field even Jonathan Gould maybe in the last couple of minutes well Stubbs is calling for it Big Horse in there too and Burley and Stubbs couldn't reach it it came back following the header by Big Horse McNamara Stubbs stays in there Big Horse stays in there here comes Stubbs that's a goal kick but Liverpool do look anxious, don't they, when the ball comes over in the air, without the likes of Mark Wright. Yes, Mark Wright, of course, is their tallest defender, and uh, usually he is very strong when those crossfield balls comes, come in. Well, the minute's ticking away, but... Uh, oh, look at this! David James has got to come here! And he did bravely and vitally to intercept from Craig Burley. That was almost a 50-50. Perhaps just in the goalkeeper's favour, but only just. Well, we're lucky there was no injury there. It was a wonderful pass. Burley went for it. He was always second favourite, but excellent work out of his traps by James. Yes, he's... Uh, Certainly made amends there for some earlier uncertainty. Karl Heinz Riedler now getting into the action for the first time. Now we hear from Highbury that the score is Arsenal 1, Salonica 1 with five minutes to go, and that means Arsenal are 2-1 down on aggregate. Trying to keep pace with all these games while this is going on. Here's McManaman for Liverpool, and he's got Riedler in the middle, and it's come off the defender. They're appealing for a foul. They haven't got that, they've got a corner. McManaman saying, look, there was a pull there on the shirt. But Celtic have got away with it. It's a corner to Liverpool. Owen on the line. Riedler comes forward. There's Riedler. Oh, it's off the line. A fantastic clearance right off the goal line. I think it might even have been Simon Donnelly. The centre forward back on the left-hand post. Donnelly was on the line, Riedler had the header, Liverpool would have made certain of it there with three minutes to go, look at this, Karl-Heinz Riedler has just come on, it's a power header, and Simon Donnelly gets the ball away. And now he's in attack. And it's Ince. And it's McManaman. And there are two and a half minutes to go and you're still not sure. McManaman taking on Hannah. Heard that somewhere before, three the other way. What's he going to do? It? Oh, say, what a waste that is. That's put them right out the game, Liverpool. And it's knocked forward by Tosh McKinley. 
and fortunately for McManaman, and Kavama was there. Here's Jones, now Berger, and Celtic will not give it up. Stubbs, it's out. Well, there are two minutes to go. If it stays like this, Liverpool are through, having lived on the edge of their nerves. Carragher, Riedler, now having replaced Fowler, is making a run forward. This is Paul Ince, doesn't want to lose it here. No, he's beaten his man, he's found Berger. Berger pausing, McManaman is lying back behind him. Still Berger, Riedler in the middle with Owen. This is Bjernaby. Oh, and it just evades Gould, the post, and Riedler. There are some very weary-looking Celtic players out there now, but my goodness me, David, please, haven't they kept this tie alive? Well, it's been an absorbing contest, John. As you said, their fitness levels, the way they've tried to play football, the way they've marked, the way they've had a team plan has been absolutely splendid. Liverpool look as though they've done what they've needed to do, but haven't Celtic given them a game? And a little bit against the odds in view of their injuries. They've given them two games, actually. <laughs> and with a minute to go in this one, it couldn't really be tighter. Kavama, Ince, Stubbs. That's out. Well, 3,000 of them, that's all the tickets that there were for Celtic. But they've given their team that fabled support. The flags, the scarves raised. They've really waved the flag a bit for Scottish football as well, Celtic, if the truth be told. Donnelly with Larson going through the centre, James having to come and claim. As we come up to the 90th minute, question of what happens now about stoppage time from this German referee. They don't tend to add as much on as the Premiership referees normally, the Continentals. We'll see. I never knew that, John. Well, that's been my experience. Sometimes you play for 96 minutes on a Saturday. Forward by... Uh, Carragher. You should know that actually. You sit on the bench biting your nails, don't you? <laughs> Maybe these Swiss watches that these uh, continental referees have. On by Beekhorst. This is Larson. There's trouble for Liverpool if he gets the other side of Kavama. Bab needs to ward off Donnelly here. Referee checks his watch again. McKinley takes the throw. Larson. Celtic will throw it all in now. Burley's in there, McNamara's in there, Donnelly as well, this is Larson. Jones to clear, the ball was out, but it's a Liverpool throw, is it? And there it is! The referee has flown, I told you he wouldn't have much on, didn't I? 54 seconds, Liverpool are through, as Roy Evans congratulates Vim Janssen. Liverpool are through on the away goals rule. They drew 2-2 at Celtic Park a fortnight ago, and had a very difficult looking edgy nervous nil nil draw here which was never conclusive really but simon donnelly he probably had the best chance he also got one off the line the celtic fans giving their team the sort of ovation that i can only say they deserve the scots played really well although they couldn't get the goal that would have turned the tie they have been too compelling absorbing matches these between the English and the Scottish clubs but when all the dust settles and the handshakes are completed the final analysis says that the two goals with which Liverpool came away from Celtic Park two weeks ago were decisive the score killed Liverpool nil Celtic nil the score on aggregate 2-2 Liverpool progress in the UEFA Cup on the away goals rule